Today, I'm going to be opening up and unboxing the Depths Tech Endoscope. They did send this to me to unbox and make a video of myself reviewing it. This is the 50 foot version, so let's see what we got. So it comes in a nice, nice case. I really like this case. So we've got the controller, which is separate. I, I really like this. I've used endo, I've used the uh, endoscope before from Depths Tech, and it was one of the ones that was you had to have Bluetooth connected from your phone, and I absolutely hated that one. Very, very cool screen, little controller, and then here is the 50 foot cable. There's a back compartment here. That looks like there's a hook, probably a magnetic hook in case you're trying to retrieve something down a drain or whatever. And here's the charging cable. It already came pre-charged. We've got this plugged in. We've got the signal right there. Got my endoscope hooked up. Let's go over some basic controls. Hold this button on for two seconds to power on the endoscope. What they recommend before doing anything is going into settings by hitting this gear button up top. There's two resolutions we can do. We can do 1080p or 720p. I'm gonna choose 1080p, auto power off. I want this um, on because I don't wanna drain the battery. I'm gonna set that up, time setting. I don't really, that could be useful. I don't really care about that right now. Screen brightness, this is the important one. Format, I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm going to format the included TF memory card. That is 32 gigs, formatting success. A look at some of the buttons on this. Um, you've got this arrow that is turning. There are two cameras on this, so if you wanna switch the angle. These arrow buttons right here will decrease and increase the light from the endoscope camera. And you can see now that we are in camera mode. If I wanted to take a picture, I would hit this top button. If I wanna to switch to camera, I'm gonna hold down on this top button and then it starts recording. I'm gonna stop that by just tapping that once. And let's test this out and see how it does. So I spoke with uh, Depths Tech about this, about, about how this camera can't really take any angles. It can't really do elbows. It's not very rigid. The description is semi-rigid. That's very generous. But what they did tell me, and I should have looked in the description, is that if you want to make these corners, you're going to need some fish tape. Depth Tech makes their own fish tape. It's way cheaper than the stuff you can get at Home Depot and also gonna be reviewing that too. So let's see how good this stuff works. So we got our fish tape unraveled and this one has a little wheel. Just put this slightly above and unfortunately, I don't know another way to do it, but the instruction video said to use just electric tape and we're gonna check out my kitchen sink drain. It's draining fine. I just want to see how dirty it is. Let's see. I'll go about every foot or so. Just turn that light on full blast. Ooh. I'm gonna try taping it back a little more. The camera just keeps getting hit with um, gunk, which is, you know, that's that's pretty normal when working with sewer cameras. Mm. 
I think that's about as far as I want to go. We're at another 90. All right, so the Depth Tech Endoscope, it takes, it takes corners pretty well but it needs this um, fish tape. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description that Depth Tech does sell their own fish tape, but I would not get this 50 foot cable one without the fish wire. It just will not make any corners. Video quality, video quality I'm pretty impressed with. It is on par with some of the more expensive sewer drain cameras out there on the market that I've used anyways. Um, takes pretty good photos, it does the job. It's not gonna win any photo of the year awards for great quality, but that's not really why we take these photos anyway. We take them to solve problems and unclog drains and stuff. I think that this endoscope will be great for dryer vents, um, any kind of ventilation systems, and that's what I plan on using this for the most. I think with the major sewer lines, I'll stick with the professional, more expensive type of sewer cameras. But this is definitely a nice tool to keep in the truck, keep in the car, to just to have. You can, it's got a variety of uses. You can see stuff in walls by poking a hole through the drywall and moving around inside of walls. And if you work on cars, this is a great tool. As you can see, spots that are hard to see, even though the 50 foot one might be overkill. I think I would like the 18 foot one. I think that's probably the perfect length for me and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis at work. That's my review. Decent little camera and endoscope for the price. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dave. Until the next product review, hope to see you there.